let me ask um, uh, Francois Panetier to talk us about finance. He was a panelist, but his seat, he has a VIP seat. <laughs> Thank you. I think it's so successful, there's not a seat for everybody. Uh, so the UKF, as I mentioned, is the UK Export Credit Agency you will be familiar with. Uh, so we are a ministerial department and our mission is to support UK export, UK exporters, to win contracts in, uh, in countries. Africa for us is a very, very important market. It's about a third of our total exposure. And we are very successful in, in two parts, actually, of Africa, West Africa and Eastern Africa. And Uganda actually is a bit of a poster child for us. We have today in Uganda an exposure of roughly 500 million pounds and a very healthy, very healthy pipeline. I can see, by the way, our high commissioner in the, in the room and the secretary to the state, to the treasury, so in the room also. So. And so for us, it's very important to have a local presence and the, the reason I mentioned the High Commissioner is that our people on the ground work very, very closely with the rest of the UK government team to identify the project and to get uh, the access and the support of the local authority to make those projects happen, because this is key. Uh, so, which kind of sector are we looking at? We have been looking a lot in the infrastructure space, in port, airport, and rail. I mean, we financed an airport in, in Uganda a few years ago, and we announced uh, last year the financing of the Pemba Airport in Tanzania, so it's another example. We do a lot of roads uh, also, so I think for, for our Colas and Marlem International, I think there's a, there's a read across here. We're also very active on the positive impact uh, projects such as agricultural projects. Uh, we are looking at some exciting stuff at the moment in Uganda. I won't say more because it's confidential. Uh, and we are also very active in healthcare. And in all those sectors, we are confident to find the UK content, the UK supply chain, so that we can finance those projects. Uh, and maybe a word on that. I mean, different ECAs have different policies. The UKF is one of the most flexible ECAs. I mean, we, we required to start with a low UK content uh, ratio of 20%. We want to do more than that, by the way. 20% is the bare minimum. Huh? So uh, we normally achieve around 40 to 50%. And we also work with contractors, which are not necessarily UK contractors, the, the EPCs, but as long as those contractors take with them the UK supply chain, this is fine. And it's very important because we are very cognizant of the fact that uh, a country may enter in, into a contract with a different country than the UK, but it doesn't mean that the UK content cannot come with that. So we need to show this flexibility, which is not the case of all ECS. But I think I've been too long already. But maybe, maybe one thing, actually. Uh, we have... We are very transparent about it, uh, and we publish that on our website. We have what we call a market risk appetite for each country, and I can tell you for, for Uganda, it's between one to two billion pounds. Tanzania is the same, and, and so on and so forth. So you can see we have quite a lot of firepower, and we are very keen to do more. Great, thank you so much. I want to ask you a, simple, a question. We also have a lot of Ugandans who are in the diaspora, who are more or less British citizens, so the 20%, um, uh, so do, can our diaspora and Ugandans with good projects come to you and be funded? Uh, yes, I mean, we are happy to look at uh, every project as long as it fits our criteria of UK content. Uh, the main criteria for the UK content, it, uh, it has to create value in the UK and it has to create jobs in the UK. That's how we, you know, we, we see the substance of the UK content, I will say. But uh, yes, I mean, we are happy to discuss with, uh, with people who, who want to export. I spoke about the big project, but we can also be uh, helpful on smaller projects. We have different products where we can go as low, I don't know, as 500,000 pounds on a, with a project we call, it's becoming technical now, SBLG, so I don't want to bore with you with the terminology. But keep in mind that it's not only the big project, we can also support the export of smaller amount of services of goods. Great, thank you. Thank you so much.